Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to be going through some gold coins I got in. There's a real variety here. Um, before I do get into it, if you do like my content, you know, to support me by now, you can do that by liking, commenting and subscribing. Today's title is going to be Gold, The Next Frontier or something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm running out of creativity for titles. So let's kind of get into what I bought. Some of this is is already sold some of it is potentially sold so yeah a gentleman contacted me via facebook and just said i'm looking to sell some gold um are you a buyer so i'm, I'm always a buyer for the right price uh, but i always pay upon receiving so i book it and then we take it from there but we can agree it agree the price beforehand i paid slightly over than i probably would have done I just said to him, so I'll pay you what I'll pay the other deal, what I pay some of my dealers, okay. Um, we'd do it that way. He did have some nice stuff here, and I did pay over and above on some of it, just because I wanted to get in. I thought it'd make a cool video. There, there's margin in everything I bought, uh, but I feel I'm at the stage where I'm getting so much coin through the door. I don't mind paying slightly over on the more collectible stuff because I know I can move it and I can move it for a fair price. So yeah, let's kind of go through what I bought. So you yeah, had three one gram bars. So two of these are potentially sold. I'm just waiting on the lady to get back to me. I'm probably gonna keep this one back. It's probably 50 to 55 pound. The, the, uh, the actual selling price hasn't really dropped on the smaller gold. I think small gold's gone into hiding personally. That's why I paid over. I said to the gentleman, I said, I don't mind paying over on the smaller bits because I just don't get much of it in at the moment and that's okay. So yeah, these are the Battle of Britain's 80 year anniversary. I've had these in before, people know what these are about. I've been blocked from this company from buying these. They finally caught wind because I absolutely raided them when they were super cheap and I was just slapping five, six quid on it. I've got no problem doing that. The, the reality is I don't set the pricing and if they want to underprice it, then I'm more than happy to take advantage of that. It's something I do every day with most dealers, or a lot of dealers I deal with when I'm sniping stock. So yeah, three of these. And he had a 2017 half in OMP with the Privy. So this potentially has a buyer. I'm just waiting on him to wake up because he's, uh, I think he does shift work, but I have put that on reserve nice little coin i wish i bought more of these for my reserve i didn't really think too much about it and and if i'm being completely realistic when these came out i didn't really have the funds to build a reserve i was i was fighting every day just to keep the show on the road really so it probably wasn't a good play to build a reserve in these at the time now if something comes up like this i know it's going to be worth more money in the future i'll just buy maybe 10 maybe 20. i, I don't know it depends on the funding situation I have had a strategic review of my reserve. I am going to be buying some. I'll, I'll get into it in another video. 2002 half. I didn't even know he had this. I misread when he messaged me. I paid him what I, I paid the other dealer that I just bought the, the hoard from. I just said to him, it's, like, it's, it's not a problem. I can move it. I can make enough. You can make slightly more. If you took this somewhere else, Oh, he took it to another dealer. They'd, they'd probably try to get this for under spot. These are collectible coins. I've got no problem paying it. No problem whatsoever. This came in as well. However, this one is owed out. So this is, as soon as I finish recording, this one is going straight in an envelope. <laughs> you know, it's not my coin. I bought Sov. So I pay spot on Sovs. Again, I could have offered him less. I think sometimes you just have to pay a bit more. He could have sold them himself. He said to me, I can't can't really be bothered with it. Uh, just offer me a fair price. So this is a 2016. Just bullion. There's nothing special about it. I believe there's a lady who was after one of these. I'm not sure she paid a price that I think it's worth. We shall see. I got... The, I think the term now that dealers are using are proof-like. Pre-loved proofs. So 
it's a shame this one this one can't really be sorted it's okay it will probably go for i think it has a scratch on the other side i'll just double check oh it might be on the cap it might be able to be sorted the reality is it's not i don't think that's a mark on i think that's something extra on the coin rather than it being i think that's like a bit of plastic okay it's it's not a proof could it be cleaned up for someone yeah sure do i have the time and inclination to do it it's not it's not something that i'm kind of looking at 2002 it's it's a rarer year i'm going to check the minute on that for someone who wanted to potentially get this cleaned up and graded you might do okay you might get 68 or 69 it's not worth the the time lag for me so that one's going to get moved on It is a nice coin. I, 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 I don't mind. I don't mind buying stuff like this. If, if I will buy anything in gold if I can buy it for the right price. That's the reality of it. I'm a trader. But stuff like this is it's nice to have, and they can they can be rectified. This would clean up a treat most probably. Again, there's another another coin that was a proof. Again, this could be cleaned up. I'll just check. I can't remember what the other side is. It's when you see scratches. That's the problem. When it's fingerprints and marks, it's it's an issue. It's the scratches that cause the issues in terms of the price coming down. It's okay. You know, I actually paid twenty pound over for this. I don't have a problem with that. There's an easy ten, maybe fifteen pound in it for me. It's not really work so don't mind doing it i actually offered 30 over but he said it was a 1997 and it wasn't it was a 1987 so i just said to him i'll give you 20 over i like my small gold I'll, i will pay for small gold it, it's not a problem so when people come to me i tend to offer five pound over spot for small gold which people are shocked at they're like oh that's that's there's not a lot of margin in it for you but the reality is if i if i'm making 10 percent on it uh 10 pound on it I'm happy with that. It's sure it's nice to to earn more, but at the same time, I kind of provide a service, and that's okay. Again, paid twenty over on this. The uh, I was kind of hoping it was in the original cap. It wasn't. The coin's fine. Nothing wrong with the coin. I will buy lunas all day, every day, if I could, because. They're starting to go in the heightening. I don't see many of them these days. I was talking to a customer earlier about them, and I said, "Yeah, I'm thinking of buying a roll of Luna Oxes when I set the business up, just to go in the reserve. I'll just sit on them, um, maybe a half roll, ten. But I'm I'm really thinking about my future and looking after my future self." It's nice to trade stuff and to get in and to get out, but the heavy lifting is done by the coins that appreciate coins like this. They appreciate it. It's not a problem. You can buy them year in, year out. They change design. They are collectible. People don't have a problem with it. I'm not entirely sure what it's worth. I wouldn't be shocked if that's a 180 coin. I don't know. It, it might be a 160, 170 coin. But it is a collectible series and people will pay for the collectability of it. Finally, I bought this. Attempt Philly. Love Phillies, especially in silver. Lots of people throw hate on them. I quite like them. This was when I was initially looking to buy silver. This was the coin that attracted me the most. That's kind of. There was actually uh, over 100 of these come up at a bullion dealer. This was a while ago. It it was a while ago, and I was thinking of making an offer. And I sat there and sat there and sat there. And it it's not like I'm in the position now. I've I've had six, no, I've had eight. Nope, I've had nine absolutely solid months in terms of earnings. And it, it I can buy a hundred of these now. Ping them off, put them in the reserve. You know, kind of go to people with an offer and say, yeah, I'm after all of them. What can you do? And it will come down like 
people will will trade it's a business that's built on trade so yeah just 11 bits today 11 small coins i've got more coins arriving tomorrow i had some silver coins arrive yesterday i haven't even opened them yet i know i know the guy who sent me sent me stuff before so i know he's good but yeah tell me what you think do you like gold coin well who doesn't like gold coins if you've come to my channel and you don't like gold coins you're at the wrong channel that's for sure but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and if you do like my content you know support me by now and have a wonderful day take care guys bye